All right, so another thing we can do with gases is actually calculate their molar mass from uh, some measurements, and which is pretty cool. Um, so of course, we assume that we have an ideal gas which for the most part is true under quote unquote, you know, normal conditions. So let's take a look at our molar mass. I'm gonna call that capital MM. And if you think about the units of molar mass, it's grams per mole. So that's what we want to get to, right? We have grams, which is the mass part of molar mass. And then we have the moles, which is the mole part of molar mass. And so how we're going to get the mass part of the molar mass is we're just going to weigh our gas, right? So you could weigh, you know, if you're doing this in a balloon, you could weigh the balloon empty and then the balloon full or something like that, and you could get the mass somehow. How we're going to calculate the amount of moles that we have inside the gas is through our ideal gas law, right? We have PV equals NRT, and we have that N right there. So by measuring the pressure, volume, and temperature, we can calculate the moles. By weighing it, we can get the mass. Combine those two, we can get the molar mass. Let's check out like an example of this. So a 0 0.272 gram sample of gas has a volume of 0 0.224 liters at 298 Kelvin and 1.06 atmospheres. Which diatomic gas is it? All right, so let's take a look at what we've got here, right? We wanna solve for molar mass, which we have as grams over moles. And so if we think about what data we're given, we're given a mass right there. So that's our grams. How we're going to calculate the moles is uh, using our ideal gas equation, right? PV equals NRT, where N is our number of moles. Since we know that's the variable that we want to solve for, we can go ahead and isolate it. We would divide both sides by RT, and then we would get N is equal to PV over RT. And now we're gonna start plugging and chugging. So our pressure, is 1.06 atmospheres, and that's the correct unit of pressure according to R. Um, our volume is 0 0.224 liters, which is the right volume uh, unit as well, right? Remember R is in liters. We know what our R is, it's the gas constant. And then finally, temperature 298K, that's also the correct unit. So everything's looking good in terms of unit, we don't have to convert everything or anything. So remember your gas constant is 0 0.0821 liters atmospheres over moles Kelvin, right? So those are the units that we have to use for everything. Um, and we do indeed have liters, atmospheres, and Kelvin. Our volume was, or our pressure was 1.06 atmospheres. Our volume was 0 0.224 liters. And then our temperatures were 298 Kelvin. And then we're going to cancel some out. So atmospheres, atmospheres, liters with liters, Kelvin with Kelvin, and then we're left with moles, which is exactly what we want. So we have 9.70 times 10 to the negative three moles of our ideal gas. And so we can then take this moles, plug it right into there. So our molar mass will be equal to the mass, right, which was 0 0.272 grams. Divide that by the moles, which is 9.0 times 10 to the negative three moles. And then we'll get 28.0 grams per mole. And then we just have to take a look at our diatomic gases, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. And then if you calculate the masses for each one of them, go ahead, pause the video, figure out which one it is. All right, so if you said the gas was nitrogen, you would be right, right? Nitrogen has a molar mass of about 28 grams per mole, which matches our measurement. So looking good there.